everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. Now, I was not expecting to be playing this since Vengeance is out for 25 days. But we did pick up, and I wasn't going to turn this down, in the command center once the month Freeze, flipped over. Come on in. Um, we did pick up a two and a half skull duo duel. And I'm like, I could just let this slide and just forget that it was there, but I'm like... It's a duel, and that's what we do, so I gotta kind of take it. Now, in order to do this, I had to do a little bit of finagling um, with everything, with the mechs, um, and with bringing stuff forward. So, if we go into the mech bay real quick, I normally don't talk about the royals in this series, but I'm going to do it right now. So, as you can see, the lances have changed significantly. The Spectre has been stripped and rebuilt completely as a long-range support mech for this second lance. I've moved the Mislinks and the Adder down to the second lance. The Adder ended up picking up a, um, a energy um, accuracy uh, computer to give us plus two chance to hit with uh, energy weapons, which should really help this thing out a little bit. A, a fair bit anyway um, for this lance uh, I did manage to pick up a couple of pilots and the, some of the pilots that we did have I, I increased their skills so we do kind of have enough pilots for the second lance I'm gonna throw that aside for now uh, actually I meant to check the wavering real quick here so let's just do this so um, yeah because we don't have what I thought we had in the uh, in the um, in the head here so I'm just gonna go ahead so I did bring forward a bunch of mechs that we had in storage and just trashed them all. So we had a mongoose. The mongoose actually had a um, range finder and the energy computer still intact in the head. So we ended up slipping those into other mechs. The energy, I think they, I think those two went into the, um, into the uh, Clint. So that's done. It also had, if I can find it here somewhere, this which I want to put on here. The trackers, the tracker sensors that we picked up last Royals episode went straight into the um, Sentinel, so it has those now, but I want to add this here because this guy is generally long range fire support. So I want to put them in here. So let's just validate that. It's only going to be a day, so we'll take the day. Actually, I'm not worried about that. Right. We won't worry about the day. The um, Sentinel stayed the same, like I said, except for the adding the uh, sensor trackers to the head. The Viper is still the same as when we built it. I haven't touched anything on this yet. The Clint, like I said, uh, this actually changed slightly, so I'm just going to show you here. So this I decided to alter, because it was did, did so well the last mission, that this guy has been altered. Now I did have a Mason here before, took that out, put the Stealth X in. The Mace was only there just because. Um, I removed the micro laser array and I removed the regular pulse laser in the leg, put in a small pulse laser and a medium, a clan medium pulse laser. Um, we had half a ton left over from before and then what did I do? Something. Oh, I removed the C3 unit because we had a half a ton that was sitting there and put the uh, Beagle probe in which is a ton and a half to give this guy better um, sensors and everything. So this guy, um, I'm thinking is going to be really, really brutal. Like, oh yeah, the energy accuracy range finder, right? The, with the Beagle probe, the ECM, the stealth, it's going to be brutal in close, like just brutal in close. Uh, this is going to be going to tugboat. Um, she deserves it. She part of the part of the locust first and then the adder. So she's going to be getting this mech here. It's super fast. I'm really looking forward to see how this thing plays. We're actually going to run it today because I'm going to bring Tugboat in the duo duel um, with um, uh, China Doll today. So we're going to bring the uh, the Clint and the um, Battle Cobra. I got to change the name of this but because <laughs> I keep wanting to call it something else. Anyway, um, so those are the two mechs we're going to take today. Now the Battle Cobra I got up and running. Let's have a look at this guy. This is going to be brutal for the mechs that it's facing. Plus, it is, I thought, if we get battle armor again, what are we going to do? Well, problem solved. We've got six clan flamers and seven mag shot cannons in here. 
with two tons of mag shot ammo, which is enough for 14 turns of continuous firing, which should deal pretty much a death blow to um, to any clan elementals because mag shots get plus 10 versus their uh, versus battle armor. So these things are going to rip um, battle armor a new one. So if we do get it, I'm not going to feel ripped off like I did last time. And then we got the six clan flamers just to overheat our targets. Uh, running a double heat sink kit. Now it is a hot build if we fire everything. Well, I'm not planning on firing at all. Uh, most likely it's going to be the flamers firing with a couple of mag shots if we're facing mechs. Um, and then if we're, play if we're facing um, elementals, it'll be all the mag shot cannons and whatever flamers I can get in. So that's kind of how it is. It's got the chameleon LPS to stay hidden. Now we're still facing a shortness of specialist items. I've been having a really hard time finding them in the store. So um, it is what it is, which by the way, I should probably double check that now. Um, so that's the uh, the battle core, but that should be an interesting build. I was going to put more melee stuff into it and it was like, I don't know, it's more of a support mech. It's not going to really be punching or kicking a lot, but it's got a pair of flames. <laughs> Massive flamethrowers on its arms, so that should be good. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, what was I going to do? Something. What was I doing? I can't remember what I was doing. Oh, yeah, the other thing we did, we did was bring forward a... Uh, sorry, let's go to vehicle base. We brought forward a Scorpion. That's going to be running in the second lance. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and find a vehicle pilot for it. It's got three LRM5s. It's just going to sit back and fire from range. That's all it's going to do. Uh, it's got a laser AMS to defend itself. So... We needed some other fire support because I am planning on running two lances now. We've almost got enough pilots. To go to the barracks real quick. We've almost got enough pilots for two lances. We do need vehicle pilots though. I picked up long shot. Um, so she's there. Uh, now look out we've had for a while. Ready to get um, it so uh, we're slowly bringing him up. Or did I just... No, sorry. I just got lookout in the... Uh, I just got lo lookout um, in the uh, hiring hall. Long shot I picked up a little while ago. Uh, Sourbug we've had for a while, so we've got him going now. Um, I've ranked his abilities up. So that's three pilots, and then we have Virago, which is four pilots. She'll probably be commanding. I'm actually saving this because I want to go one more gunnery, but she'll probably command it, uh, command the second unit, and everybody else will follow. Um, we'll put her in the adder. Uh, but yeah, so that's the second unit, and then the first unit will stay as it is, and then China Doll and... Um, Vengeance will remain as the dualist uh, unit. Now, like I said, we are suffering from a, a, a lack of pilots, which means we're going to have to jump out of the system at some point. We're going to go to the one and a half skull world. I'll probably change the difficulty then from uh, four variants back down to a two. So we're still getting between um, half and um, two and a half skulls. But we, we will have to make a jump at some point. Anyway, that being said, let's just get into a battle today. Um... So let's go to the command center. I really hope this works out. The fact that they don't get reinforcements is a bonus. Um, so this is against um, our base in Tiber. Uh, so it is Diamond Shark v Diamond Shark, I guess. Uh, sorry, it's locals. Okay, so two and a half locals. Well, that should be interesting to see what we can get there. I'm interested to see what it ends up uh, being here. So we'll go load, clear. China Doll is going to take the lead on this one. Um, and then Tugboat's coming in. As the secondary pilot, we want to bring in... Where are you here? Uh, where are you? Oh, here you are. Derp. And then you. And let's go. Interface initiated. All right, here we go. So the first time I went to drop, uh, the game crashed. I mean, I'm looking at what are these guys? That's a lamb. Is this an execute? Not an execution. What's it called? A uh, summoner? This could be real bad. Well, we'll find out here in a second. All right. Yeah. So as I was saying, I went to go uh, load it up, and it just hung for a bit, and then just crashed to the desktop. So, and apparently, having stealth means nothing. So there's that. So 
to Hades. And he's not generating a lot of heat. Now the lamb, I don't know. Hey. I know we faced that thing before. Uh, let's start making our way along here. I want to see if we can make that, that lamb a non-issue. I don't know if, how it's going to react AI-wise. Alright, right, a little bit of damage. Ten more than they did to us. Yeah. Munin. Okay. It might not end up being a non-issue if it comes that way, but... Waiting for orders. We have to focus our fire for sure. Or we're gonna get burned here. I just don't know who to target first. We gotta get behind them too. Ah oh man, I'm not even taking that shot. What now? Problem is too is that we're suffering from lack of uh, firepower on this. I was hoping the stealth would be uh, more helpful. I think we gotta go this way because we can't really get up that way. Okay, let's make our oh way along this boy. way. Here we go. At least we can use the trees as a little bit of protection. Way better on this guy. Locking in target. Take as much heat as we need to for this shot. Oh Jesus, it blew through already. Did he we get it? That wasn't a head hit, was it? Yeah, it's a Loki. How hot is this guy? Not hot at all. Blaze fires. Magnus. Commander? Ah, man, we got problems. All right, well, let's try this. Whole lot of nothing. No love on that strike. It's bizarre that our stealth doesn't help us at all. I mean, it probably makes us a little harder to hit, but not really doing much, is it? Okay, so they both go before us, which is not good. He's trying to manage his heat. So the fact that he gets fire and maneuver leads me to believe that that pilot is actually really good. Because I don't think that's inherent in the mech. It might be, but... I think it's got to do with how good the pilot is. And of course, back shot. No? Right here. Moving full speed. Okay, let's get up here. We gotta get on this guy now and do as much damage as we possibly can. Locking the target. So this guy's like 65 tons, I think. By. Ooh, that puts me in jeopardy though. All he has to do is back up. Book 
We gotta do it though. This guy's gotta go away and he's gotta go away as fast as possible. How, how's his back armor look? Pretty darn low. We can't afford the heat here, and I want to overheat him as much as possible. So we'll just do this. Target locked on enemy. Okay, that puts him over, puts him standing in fire. Yes, Commander. Let's get up here. Got it. Once again, keep our heat down. Okay, not bad with the hits. He's going before me. The fact that this lamb came down here was really, really beneficial towards us. It's got tag on me though, that's really shitty. At least this Loki's like overheated. It's getting melee though. Thank God it was a miss. Don't know what he's gonna shoot though. Wow. Okay, he's super hot. Reading you. Let's give him a kick from behind. Some flamers. Move order received. Ha! Nice. We should hit with all three. Yep. Standing by. Okay, staying on that oh. side. Okay, that's good chances to hit. Do we go? We go with as much as we can without overheating. Here we go. Need to land as much as I possibly can on him. He's gonna do the same thing again here. Good thing he's missing with the kicks. Wow. I'm under heavy fire. Impressive. I'm getting pummeled. The fact that he missed me but still hit this guy. All right, Lamb coming up here. Could have been worse. Sure as hell could have. Alright. I'm here. You're damaged on this side. Go four flamers this time? Yep. Eventually you'll oh. shut down. Ah shit missed. Attack failed. That one didn't know. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's walk over there. Now, we might be able to do... Did I sprint that? I did. Damn it. This. Let's hope for the best here. Ooh, yeah, that should be this leg. There he goes. That looked lucky. Okay. Yes, Commander. Question then becomes. Let's go here. Location confirmed. How do I want to handle this? So these can come off, these can come on. Do we go torso on this guy? Probably. Scored a critical hit. Okay. So taking that side, shit, that guy's fast. OK, 
Okay, we didn't lose our arm, which is good news. Internal structure damage. I don't know what this guy's gonna do though. He's lost a lot of heat sinks. But of course he's lost a lot of weapons too, so. Come on, shut down. Nope. Not shutting down. Damn, they're fast. Even with my ability to, uh, even my command ability is not not giving me enough initiative. Standing by. Let's get her back On to the wall. Way. Yeah, we're gonna drop a little bit of heat here, but we're gonna fire everything that we can. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Order and knowledge. Not gonna melee because I don't want to lose stability if I don't if I can avoid it. Yep. There we go. Okay. Enemy eliminated. Right here. Like that. I'll try. So hopefully he can't get behind us. I mean, he could always go into fly mode and fly up behind us, but I don't think he will. Okay, let's start on him. Wow, really, really. With 40 some odd chance, percent chance to hit, and you couldn't even land more than one? With nine shots? Fuck. What structure is that, though? That's Armor breach! Internal damage! Arm. Looks like where most of our weapons are. Kick. How many flamers can we get? Four? Location Let's confirmed. see if we can get that leg. Ha! Nope. Damn it. All right, we got one hit on him. He's so damn fast. I mean, the one thing we're lacking in this battle is is skilled pilots, right? China Doll barely has fours across the board. They're getting an angle on me. It could be so much worse. Standing by. Okay, let's get to here. This really has me worried. We're really badly damaged here. Uh, another medium pulse on there. Okay, starting to strip armor. Reading you. Order acknowledged. That stability back. I'm gonna go over. It's just fire three. Wow, nothing. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Okay, how badly damaged are you and where? So the one arm. The back's not really touched. So if we move. Right here. Here. I'm there. And go from this side. 
Hopefully we can take the arm, maybe? Well, not really. A lot of damage, though. Critical hit, Commander. Ooh, one away from taking the arm. Hopefully he's got an inner sphere X solid at it, though. Run. Run away. You know you want to run away and not shoot me. Okay, still giving us a chance for the arm. We're going to chase him. I mean, I want to chase him too much, but we're definitely going to chase him. And go this route. Are you fucking shitting me? You couldn't land even one. Yes, Commander. Couldn't even land one. Your mag shots. You couldn't even land them. Affirmative. Wow. Just gonna leave his arms on him, are ya? You feel guilty? Is that what it is? Hopefully, okay, what's he doing? Don't turn around though, just keep running. Yes, nice. I'm here. This is pretty much a gift for us. This guy is giving it to us. 14% with the mag shots. We got a better chance at the flamers, so I'm going to use those. All we need to do is hit one. Just need one on the arm. Just one! Just one! One! That's a myth. All I'm asking is one. You sh shot at him 15 times and you couldn't hit once? Right Sorry, 12 here. times. Just hit the arm. Take the arm. It's yours. He's given it to you. He's happy with you taking the arm. Just accept it and take the arm, please. Are you fucking kidding me? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you deserve to die now. I hope he kills both of you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop playing with your damn food. Hopefully he keeps running. If he decides to turn and fight. If he decides to turn and fight, we're in a lot of trouble. This is the wrong side. That's a back shot. We'll take that instead. We still that means we have a chance to take the arm still. Um Same chance to hit, so we'll go with the mag shots. I don't even know what to say. Attack failed. At least one of those should have hit something. And oh, now he goes, of course. This is where we lose components. <sighs> it's getting the range on us. Disintegrating. Better make sure we're shooting the right side here. That's the wrong side. We need to be on this side. Now he's got us divided. I can't even get a so oh, there we go. I was gonna say a side shot. I can't even take one, but apparently I can. Finally. It's go time. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. Moving at full throttle. Let's try to seal the deal on this guy now. I gotta drop some heat. We're just gonna shoot the mag shots. We got lousy chances to hit. Got one, two. Okay. 
Looks like we penned somewhere too. Did we or Yes, this torso. Yes, commander. If you say so. Okay, keep our back to a wall. Fire those. Okay, left torso gone. Engine crit, heat sinks gone. That looks like a critical hit. I'm here. Actually. So if we punch, wait. If we kick, we can fire everything, right? Okay, how much heat is that? All right, let's try it. Finally land the kick, nice. There goes the leg. He should take another injury here when he falls. Oh man. He's still got a large, so I gotta be careful. Oh, no. Not doing anything. Standing by. Can try it. Going hand to okay. hand, I guess. Oh, we bailed out. That was lucky. Well, there you go. Mission successful. I'll be honest with you, we should not have won that battle. That should not have been a victory. Like that that Munin had enough to kill us. And it just didn't. I think he started... I mean, honestly, I think he started panicking. And then he just started running around. And at that point, he, he just lost at that point, right? So we got multi-track. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's only minus 5%, though. But still, we have so many mechs that are overheated. And we can really use that. Heat bank is nice, too. We should get most of this stuff, but I think out of everything, I mean, the low-key parts would be nice. But let's face it, we can't, I mean, we, I can use this right away. The range is nice, too. Like, all this battle computer stuff is nice, but... I'm going to grab this, because this is going to go into immediate use. So let's confirm this. All right, we got the low-key part, a Munin part... ER large laser blank and fire, which is more damage, less tonnage, but it jams. Meh, alright. The multi track, that's nice. Endo steel, which we've got three. I'm gonna sell that one. Um and two regular double heat sinks. So that's actually not too bad. Not my choice out of that, but not bad. Yeah, we were definitely outclassed in that match. We should have lost that one. I'm shocked that we didn't, though. That's just bizarre that we never lost that match. But it is what it is, and it's over now. We will take the one day to see what happens here. Um, yeah, we could use another Mech Warrior, but uh, let's go for it and see what happens. Um, Alright, well, we lost the pilot. We didn't get the pilot. All right. Well, not much we can do about it. Thought we'd try. It was probably the Loki pilot. Loki pilot's like, "Fuck that." <laughs> the Munin pilot's like, "I don't, I don't care." All right. Well, we did okay there. Um, let's go to uh, Mech Bay really quick. So that was the first. Um, let's go to storage. That was the first. Yeah. Got a Loki part. Okay. First real heavy mech part that we've gotten. We're going to be getting into that more and more now, though. The only thing we got left in here to build is the, uh, the urban mech. I mean, I could build the urban mech and put the Ultra 20 in it, but that's just a little too slow. I don't know what I would put that Ultra 20 in. I keep thinking about what I would, what mech would be perfect for it. 
The Clint can't do it because it doesn't have the weight capability. The Wavern, um, I think it does have, it doesn't have ballistic hard points, so it can't. The Sentinel could run it, but then it's going to be really slow again. And with it, with the uh, the Ultra 20, you're going to want to be able to close at least at a half decent speed. At least 5'8", I think, is probably a good speed for it. The Viper's not going to run it. It just doesn't have the weight to be able to do it. And that's it. We don't really have anything for it. So we'll have to wait. I really want to put it into, into play, but I can't do it right now. But So what we'll do here, uh, we're okay for our front. We're at a million already for our financial report now. It just It's just crank, It's just going up. Uh, what I might do, though, when's the Spectre back? Let's manage our task here. Maybe we can get it back earlier. The Wavering comes back in a day. We got, what, six days to the financial report? So let's bring the Wavering up the Battle Cobra down because then in five days we can have our main lance back and pull off a mission before the end of the month. So I think we'll do that. The next episode of the Royals will be um, before the month ends. I don't know if there's... I really, never really checked the missions this month because I wasn't expecting to do any fighting. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, so um, yeah, we know we'll worry about that in the next episode. We'll have a look. Uh, now that we've got all the mechs back, just make sure that they don't need any extra repair. Yeah, we're good to go. So we'll take them on the, next, on the uh, one mission before the end of the month, and then um, the secondary lance is back in one day. So at, once the month ticks over, we'll take the secondary lance out. Um, but now that there's two lances, I don't know. I might like it. The uh, duelist might actually start to slow down with number of missions, and the royals might actually start to pick up just because there'll be two lances. And I don't know if we're going to get a, a, a duelist mission next month. I mean, I don't Always think... good to see you in Oscar, man. We only had one this month, and the match that we took did not replace it with another one, so... Yeah, no big deal. All right, well, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below, down below about the Battle Cobra. Let me know if you think that's a good loadout or not, the Flamers and the, the uh, Mag Shot. Now, it wasn't really a perfect um, match to see it actually in action. It's a little hot. I'm thinking I'm going to throw the Exchanger in there, but it's only because we're in a desert world, right? So once the Exchanger goes in there, it'll be a lot better. But it's all going to come down to the mechs we face, right? Two and a half skulls is probably the limit that we can take right now, depending on who we're facing. So, until we can get something better, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, until next time, we'll see y'all later.